Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you're looking to back up or clone your hard drive, then you can't go far wrong from using this piece of software here. It's called Redo Backup and Recovery. You can get it from www.redobackup.org. It's a free uh, Linux distribution uh, live CD software you can download, open source, and uh, it's got an easy to use graphic user interface there. No installation is needed, just burn it to a CD or a USB stick. Um, and also, you can use it on Windows and Linux machines okay it also allows you to access files even if you can't log into your Windows you just boot to the live CD or USB and uh, back up your drive that way okay also you can recover deleted pictures documents and other sort of file types and also access the internet using the Firefox browser that is installed on the actual CD or USB stick depending on which way you want to go so it's 75 megs download it and give it a look so I'm just going to fire this ISO image up in my virtual box here just to show you what it's all about I'm not going to really go through the actual cloning process but I will show you a little bit okay you need to select your language here and uh, let that load up and once this is loaded in it gives us a our graphic user interface that we can use okay this is it here it's pretty easy to understand backup and restore and also install to USB so if you want to actually install to USB you just click on that and you can actually install it to a USB drive okay it's very simple also this is your backup and restore you can't get more easy than that really backup and restore so you just click on the backup if you want to backup and go through the motions really select the drive that you want to backup then go next okay select the two partitions that you want in a backup at this stage we're just going to go through the motions here and uh, this is the select the destination part which is where you want to send the backup to okay now obviously you've got to remember you can't really back up a drive and put it on the same drive that's uh, corrupted if you want to use that um, image okay so it's got to be onto an external hard drive or something of that nature and this is where you'd actually select that okay I've only got one partition here which is a virtual box and that's the reason why but I'm just going to say next here and you can browse the destination folder that you want to use okay so you click on this and you would actually just browse that uh, destination folder on the external hard drive and then click next and then the process will start and you start to back up your um, drive you could also do the same thing with restore it would actually just point to the location of your image and back up and restore the system back to that time okay so let's have a look at the tools here on the actual uh, application it's got a drive reset also the web browser um, that you can use which allows you to ac access the internet and download files which is very useful let's just see if it was working okay it should be uh, there you go it does work okay okay so once you've done that you've got file editor on there you've also got partition editor which is very useful also file recovery this is for recovering deleted files and also you've got a terminal element uh, emulator which is a uh, basically a command line really and uh, I'm not really worried about these ones down here but these ones are really useful at the top okay so you've got your files section here and also your settings uh, pretty much language uh, time and date and backup and so on okay so and you've got your system info there which would be pretty useful okay so it's a very good piece of software I'd advise you to download it burn it to a CD especially if you're into uh, PC repair and stuff like that it's going to save you a lot of time when you want to be backing up and stuff and it's free also which is always the best uh, solution sometimes so anyway I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please remember hit the subscribe button share your support and uh, if you're not joined the forums yet head over to the forums and uh, become part of the community over there and help out over there. Thanks guys for watching. Bye for now.